What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to go over how I went from paying over $400 a month in phone services to now less than $60 for the same exact same features. The company I use is 3CX. I use 3CX software for all my businesses, including tire shops, tire warehouses, and the small call center I have in Mexico. Now here is what to expect in this video. I'm going to briefly explain how to create and set up your own phone system. And yes, we're going to go ahead and get our hands dirty, but don't worry. I'm going to show you every step of the way, how it's done so that you don't have any excuse for not switching over to this way of business phone structure. After installing the system, I'm going to introduce you to 3CX's latest completely free startup edition plan, which is a perfect solution for startup companies or small businesses. And yes, I mean, it's 100% free. So why wouldn't you just take advantage of this? After that, I will share how I am able to make and receive calls from a mobile app, text my customers using a business phone number or our business phone number, and add live chat to a website along with some other pretty good features. Also, you wanna watch until the end because I'm going to be showing you how I only pay a fraction of the price compared to using companies like Cox, Verizon, or even like newer companies like GoToConnect, Vonage, or even Ring Central. But well guys, okay, now before we jump in, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Also a big thanks to 3CX for collaborating with me in this video. I have been using their services for over a year and I decided to reach out to them about helping me create this video uh, that could be useful to my viewers and they agreed to work with me in making this video possible so thank you so much 3cx well let's start with creating an account so to create your 3cx account you're going to go to 3cx.com on 3cx.com or any page you're at in 3cx they have this uh, section where it says get 3cx absolutely free where you can sign up using your google account or sign up with an email once you sign up with an email, you simply put your name and your email address and you click let's go. You're going to go ahead and uh, you're pretty much getting a confirmation email. Once you get that confirmation email, you'll be able to access your 3CX portal or admin portal to set up your phone system. Okay, now that we have a 3CX account, we are going to add a new system. Now to do that, click login into your 3CX account go into your systems and click the, on the button that says add system here it's going to ask you if you want a self-hosted or hosted by 3cx system you want to select hosted by 3cx which means that you don't need to have a physical server or device running at all times it also means that you don't have to worry about all the updates and maintenance of the server itself 3cx will take care of that part for you and again this all comes as a part of this package Next, you will select the 3CX startup plan, which already creates everything you need to start taking calls and it is free. You will have the ability to add up to 10 other users, which is perfect for small startups. Now, at the time of recording this video, you do get access to the pro edition for free, which allows you to connect SIP trunks, obtain more advanced features and get up to 20 total users. But if you watch this video after the offer has passed, you can still get the pro edition for a competitive price of only like $23 per month when paying annually. Now, also, if you have more employees or you need more users, 3CX does have more advanced plans. And perhaps in the future, I'll be making a video on how to set that up. But for now, we'll just stick to the 3CX startup plan. Now, once you go ahead and click next, it will create your 3CX web interface, which will give you a URL and the range of extensions you and your team can use. Next step is to add any users you want. Be sure to add their email so that they can get invited and use the system. It will also then ask you if you wanna set up a live chat for your site. This is a very nice feature because it is nice to be able to respond to customers all in one portal. It also allows your customers to initiate a call from the chat widget if they want to. But anyways, to set this up, you will type your website address and copy the code. Finally, you need to paste this code into your website so that the widget shows up on your site. And again, if you've done this before, it should be a fairly simple process. But if you haven't, 3CX does have a full guide on how to do this step by step. Now, finally, you will be presented with a login page, your username and password. You will use these to access your extensions and admin panel. The first time you sign in, you are presented with a QR code. If you download the 3CX app on your phone and you scan this QR code, your account will automatically be synced with the 3CX system you just created. And just like that, any call that rings to your extension, you will also get those calls on your phone. Now, if you're out of work or you simply don't wanna be taking any calls, you can always switch your status to away so that no calls come in. From here now, you can go into the office settings and set up the settings of your choice, such 
such as call routing, call handling, and office hours. But I'll explain this further in just a moment. Now to further explain, your system's up and running and you can make internal calls between departments, teams, and employees. But you cannot yet do any external calls. So in other words, you cannot call any regular phone numbers or customers cannot call you. So for this, we need to assign a phone number. And for us to assign a phone number, we need what it's called a SIP trunk provider, which in this video, we will be using Skytel to buy a number from. And they will also be our SIP trunk provider so that we can make and receive calls. But don't worry, it's actually super, super simple and it only takes less than five minutes to set up. So first, you need to create an account and verify your email. After being able to access your portal in Skytel, you will need to fund your account with at least $25. But don't worry, these $25 are consumed based on usage, so it's not like you have to commit to a monthly amount here. After funding your Skytel account, go and create a SIP registration. This will create a username and a password which are the credentials you will use to add into 3CX so that it can access your Skytel account. After creating the SIP registration, copy and paste the generated password and username into 3CX by going into office settings and then voice and chat. Click on add trunk and select US market and pick Skytel. Now again, keep in mind that in this example, I'm using Skytel. You can always choose a different trunk provider and simply configure it accordingly. Now after that, type the username and password you got from Skytel and save. You will see a red light on the 3CX portal, which will turn green, meaning that it has connected successfully. However, if it doesn't do this instantly, give it about one minute to connect. Next, go to Skytel and go to the phone numbers and buy a low local number or toll free number. Just know that if you're buying a toll free number, those numbers do cost more and are more expensive to use. So I would recommend just using a local number. After buying a local number, go to the phone numbers and local number section. Click on the gear towards the right and change the call routing to SIP credential. Next, select the SIP credential you just created some moments ago and click save. Now, if you start a call from 3CX Web Client Portal, you will be able to see that the number you call rings successfully. And if I try the inverse, you will see that I get the incoming call into my 3CX Web Client Portal. But well, ladies and gentlemen, you have now successfully set up a 3CX phone system and a SIP trunk provider. You should feel proud of yourself because now you're ready to take calls on the go, on the mobile, and more importantly, save money. Now remember, 3CX is absolutely free right now and we really have only spent in Skytel for the number and of course, the minutes. But 3CX does have more features you can take advantage and again, they are all for free. Now as for call routing, you can get creative here if you want front desk to get calls for the first 30 seconds and then transfer it to other departments. You can do so by creating multiple call queues, such as a front desk call queue. And then after 30 seconds, you can transfer to any other call queue or extension of your choice. You can also send calls to a specific voicemail, which also gets email notifications. In call queue settings, you can set up custom on hold music. And if you want calls to be recorded, you can also create a digital receptionist, which will automatically answer all the calls and ask your customers for options and then transfer them to the appropriate department. You can set up office hours so that you you send them to the specific voicemail after your office is closed. And finally, you do get some nice reporting. You're able really to easily see how many calls you're picking up, missing, and what is the average length of your business calls. I personally love that and this really helps me understand better my team. For example, if I'm thinking and spending more in advertising, but I see that my team's only picking up about 60% of my calls, well, advertising is only gonna make it worse because we're gonna be getting more calls and more calls are not gonna be answered. So again, this report would help me understand that I should instead be investing in some training or more personnel to answer my phone calls. Thus, this makes me save money and become a more savvy business owner. Now, again, as you guys have seen so far along the video, when it comes to pricing, you can see it's really not that expensive. It will really vary based on the volume you may or may not get. Now, 3CX, the software itself is free. So the only thing you're paying here or the only thing you have to worry about is Skytel. Rates for Skytel SIP trunk are as follows. There is a one-time fee for purchasing a phone number, which again was $1, which is pretty cheap. A monthly fee to maintain that local phone number, which again is $1 and it's pretty standard among all the other companies I've used before. And then there's the usage fee of how much they charge you per minute that you use, either incoming or outgoing call. And in this case, they charge us 1.011 uh, cents per minute, which I think it's a little bit high compared to others out there, but it's still not that bad. So I estimate that an average business could use about 2,500 minutes per month 
assuming they only have one store and that store sells about $200,000 per month in tires. That would amount to 2,500 times 0.011 cents plus the $1 recurring fee and any other extras, it would be about $30 per month. But again, keep in mind that this is for 10 users, extensions, or physical phones. Now compare that to another company that may bill you on a per user basis, which is very standard, and that would be about 10 users times $20, which is average, that would be around $200 a month compared to $30 a month. That's an over 35% bill reduction right there just on your phone bill. Now, it is true that your bill will increase with the more minutes you use, but you would really have to get a lot of lengthy calls to pay over $200 a month. And I think, honestly, 3CX is just the best solution out there. I've been using it again for over a year and their software is easy to use, simple to set up, and once your business grows, they have some other better, fancier plans that allow you to scale as well. Again, I may even do another video in the future showing how I use a pro plan with Twilio for my call center in Mexico. But anyways, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is how I stopped paying over $400 a month and now I really pay less than $60 a month. So please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.